Hello folks, today I want to talk about my latest book, Foraging California. This book uh, took me six months to a year to write, but actually it took me 40 years to write because all of the information that I've acquired through studying botany and ethnobotany, I tried to put into this book. The, the pretense for the book was that it's strictly California, although people in other states are telling me they love it. It's only food also. So I didn't bother including poisonous plants or medicinal plants or even useful plants for that reason. It's strictly food. There's some medicinal applications, um, but it's primarily the stuff you're going to eat if you're going to be living off the land and foraging. Uh, Paul Campbell wrote a foreword for me. I'd like to read it. Thank you, Paul. It says, this amazing book catalogs in clear, direct language the full range of wild edible plants found in California. Organized by latest scientific family and ecological region, it teaches not only a plant's place in the land, but its essential botanical attributes. More than that, Christopher's lifetime of dirt time experience makes him expert on the edible and nutritional properties of this wonderful flora, so easily overlooked. I, had, I have followed Christopher on endless plant walks and never failed to learn something new and important. Now at last, it's all in one brilliant guide. Hey, thank you, Paul. That was, that was really something. I appreciate that. Um, but a lot of it was because of my training with Dr. Leonid Inari, uh, where I was able to organize this book by botanical families. And the importance of that is that if you understand the families that many of these plants are grouped into, you'll learn, and I, I try to cover that as best as I'm able to in the book, you'll learn that the entire family is edible. Okay, I addressed some of that in my Guide to Wild Foods book, but in this one I cover the cactus family, um, the mustard family, how to recognize the mustard family, and I give representative members, the chicory tribe of the sunflower family, and all the representative members. But if you understand the family aspect of this book, you can actually apply the principles of this book wherever you live. Tom Elpel, who wrote an excellent book called Botany in a Day, let me use his little chart about how many wild foods are actually out there. And I, it's very insightful, and I hope you read it. In the appendix, I include the quiz that I use at my college classes, testing your uh, skills in wild foods, testing your intuitive sense of what's edible and what's not. A lot of color photos. Uh, there are some things that I have personally never seen in other plant books, like the use of the acacia seed, which is a common introduced plant. Uh, the wild buckwheat, which the Native Americans have used for centuries. I don't seem to see that information in other books. And the uh, the, the spider wart, or sometimes called the wandering Jew, I dif differentiate between the blue flower and the white flower, and how a friend of mine from the Philippines taught me about it, how you can use it in salad and soups, and it's a ubiquitous weed all over the place. Folks, this is a fantastic book, all color. It's a, it's a, a great book for gifts, great for a starter book, or for people who are more familiar with wild plants. Please get a copy. Please enjoy it. I know you will. Thank you very much.